I'm out of pocket. I'm out of pocket like shit for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of, <laughs> of what's going on and how I feel about the bigger picture of things. At the same time, whether a nigga being a comedian or being serious, you know what I'm saying? Copying me, you know what I'm saying? I should just be grateful. That's how I gotta look at that, man. Just be grateful for real, for real. That somebody took that much time out, you know what I'm saying? Now, now shit. You got me ready to walk around with a pen and shit to give out my autograph and shit. I feel famous that little old me get studied and shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas wanna be like me when they grow up and shit. So I'm inspired, man. Thank y'all, Joe. You know what I'm saying? So now that I know that eyes is on me like that now, I gotta make sure that I keep, you know what I'm saying, the positive wink out here so, you know what I'm saying, I can have more positive winks walking around. You know what I'm saying? If y'all wanna follow me, then let's follow me. Let's do something positive then, man. You want, you want to impress me or compete with me, man? Start talking to these youngers around you, man. Tell them tighten up, man. Start turning them into men. You know what I'm saying? From boys to men. We ain't got to be boys all our life, dog. You know what I'm saying? We can grow up and be men. You know what I'm saying? Start, you know what I'm saying, communicating and conducting yourself as men. And not letting this internet, you know what I'm saying, influence us to do this dumb, goofy shit. Because at the end of the day, trust and believe, it's not just our neighbors that got their eyes on us, bruh. You know what I'm saying? You got big corporations that's watching you too and shit. And you know what they doing? They going ahead and telling they rappers, hey, tune into this person. Tune into that person and shit. And then what they going to do? They going to go ahead and write a nice little rap off this little gossip and shit, right? And then they going to go ahead and put that shit on the airwave and shit, right? And then your ear going to hear that shit and it's going to hype you up even more to do some dumb shit right to go on over there where they got their money set up at and shit because they shit say long money not short money we've been thinking short money when we started our little shit we wanted our shit now we couldn't see further down the line and shit that's why we never really got into the stocks and bonds and shit because we couldn't see it right there and then. rich motherfuckers, right, instead of going on the corner, you know what I'm saying, like they showed us to do, right, they like to take their money and shit, you know what I'm saying, and go put that motherfucker in what, stocks and bonds and shit, because what them Jones do, they grow over time and shit, you too busy watching your little bread and shit, and you trying to spend that shit right now, that's why motherfuckers be broke for real, for real, and we want to blame the next person saying that they took an opportunity from us where we just didn't understand the system, you know what I'm saying, to make our money grow, you know what I'm saying? Another thing, right, when they dangle that credit card in your face and shit, your young mind said immediately, I'm rich, I'm about to go max this bitch the fuck out tonight, you know what I'm saying, like right now, you know what I'm saying, you all down Georgetown and shit, getting your fucking shop on, not even thinking about tomorrow, let alone a motherfucking emergency of next year, you know what I'm saying, so boom your credit started going down and shit so they can start wiping your little ass out the way as competitors to get to the top and shit you know what I'm saying it's a process and elimination and shit and motherfuckers be killing they self off motherfuckers ain't gotta do too much that's why you gotta understand the real understanding of all the war dog and the 48 laws of power and shit you dig what I'm saying yeah mo when you understand them Jones then you might be able to compete with a nigga like me you know what I'm saying cause I'm up there with 50 and them the 50th law and the 50th one Jones you know what I'm saying that's might be when Robert Green comes sit down with me, and you know what I'm saying, because he see, like, damn, when I wrote that book, I never expected someone to take it and really interpret it the way this young man did, I know Robert Green uh, heard about me, what's up, Holmes, you know what I'm saying, I know about you too, cuz, and, and I found you to be, matter of fact, we got a lot in common, you'll find out, you'll see, but yeah, man, life is great, man, you know what I'm saying, like, just, just take the best of today, like, just to think, right, just to think how, how amazing, first of all, I want to give a shout out to whoever, you know what I'm saying, the organizer, you know what I'm saying, the top organizer, you know what I'm saying, I don't need y'all to put their name out here, because I will do a background check and a report, I already know who it is and shit, so, um, I just want to give a shout out to the top organizer, you know what I'm saying, because, like, just to think, that mighty power that you did, this is almost like some corporation shit that you put together, so, everybody that sees this video, let's give a round of applause to this person, I, you know what I'm saying, because I just thought that was amazing, I was like, damn, what if they took that energy and really put some thought into, uh, bam, let me put these motherfucking goofies right here that, that will do anything I ask them to do, let me put their ass at the top of my corporation and shit, 
boom, because they got good brains and shit, because they know how to draw uh, some more little motherfuckers to follow in and shit, so boom, now I got warehouse workers and shit, and how much money y'all, y'all planning on investing in fucking this no nigga over, or you said Charlie a good nigga, and, and he with business-minded people, and, and he willing to invest in anybody who got a good business mind, because he always thinking further down the line and shit on some Warren Buffett type shit, oh, damn. Y'all couldn't think like that. Y'all little minds so fucking small. That's why they said, hey, kick him out. Cause he gonna make us, he gonna make us do the right thing with this money and shit. You know what I'm saying? He gonna make us use our brains and shit. We gonna feel like we back in school and shit. We gonna feel like we adults and we don't wanna be adults. We wanna be motherfucking immature and shit. But you see what happens when you be immature? You know what happens when you be immature? Somebody gotta watch you all day. They gotta keep their eyes on you. How they keep their eyes on you and shit? They know where you at at all fucking times and shit. Only at a certain point of time you at home and shit because that's sleep and get up hours and shit then they know your ass gotta go to work from monday through whatever day you know what i'm saying boom know where you at at that time when you get off and shit you're gonna be tired because they worked your ass in that y'all get back in that y'all get back in that y'all yeah so then when you get off that joint you ain't got no motherfucking life and you irritated as shit because you can't even fucking breathe you hear me like one into the two 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 into the three three then you gotta breathe you know what i'm saying that's why when i feel like the motherfuckers fucking with my motherfucking like regular life and shit, you know what I'm saying, I know it's time to go, you know what I'm saying, I was on the way, house jump, no bullshit, woke up in the middle of the night and shit, said, nah, Slim, I gotta get this motherfucking order ready to go on the load and shit, and I gotta count everything, yeah, yeah, Slim, that shit was fucking me up, that's when I said, oh, no, nah. because my days started going together. I'm like, cool, I'm making money, but damn, I don't get no time to enjoy this shit. I'm looking sweet as shit at lunch. That's about it. Ah, uh, nah, that ain't how life supposed to go, bro. And I got kids, you know what I'm saying? Boom. When me and my baby mother uh, separated and shit, whoever all you guys that was fucking her, that's how y'all was getting to fuck her. I get my daughter every weekend. So y'all got the weekend and the week for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? But the weekend, she was definitely coming with me. That was the rules. I just asked, don't have no bam ass niggas around. See what happened? See what the fuck happens to them? Man, turning my kids against me, fucking kids and all some wild goofy shit. I ain't even here for all that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cause God be the glory on everything, Slim. I ain't got bash you, you know what I'm saying? All I gotta do is say, hey, say and you is a liar, and that's enough right there. You hear me? Because you thought you was gonna have a victory over me, but the devil is a liar. You hear me? Hey, you never thought you'd see a cool preacher like me. Y'all was still looking for that hip hop preacher. <laughs> nah, man, it's just wink. You hear me? Like, nah, for real though. I just be out this show cool in mind, just enjoying life, get my little sweat on. You just heard me. Like, yeah. Yeah, man, life great, man. Life great. Now I know what mom been talking about. And he was like, praise him in advance. I be finding myself doing that sometimes, man. I just start praising him, like, thank you, Lord. You hear me? Like, yo, boy, I was just walking down the little street, you know what I'm saying? I, when I get to walking down the street in my little happy mood, I be feeling like author, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to author. I ain't had the glasses on. I was just out there jail, you know what I'm saying? So, boom, I was feeling like off out there, y'all. So, I'm just walking. I'm so cool to my zone. Hey, I was lacking. That was y'all trying to get me because I was somewhere else, but you couldn't. <laughs> God happy. You hear me? So, boom, I'm just out there, y'all, cool and just in my little zone. I'm like, why does little lady get to smile at me? I mean, like, she snapped me out of my little days. You know what I'm saying? She was like, hey, how you doing? I was like, hey, you hear me? She put me in my little I'm like, hey, you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man, I was trying to tell you, that shit contagious, like, she didn't even know me, and, and I was in Georgetown, yeah, she didn't even know me, but she was like, whatever is on here, it look good, you hear me, yeah, what's up, homie, oh, they parking, you heard me, man, <laughs> he must have followed me on IG, you heard me, hey, hey, go ahead, wait, chill out, bro. <laughs> Hey, no, nah, let me get up off this show.